Hello and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to solve a problem that I've run into recently and that's basically in using Python virtual environments in VS Code I've had trouble selecting the appropriate uh, Python interpreter for the project meaning that I wanted to use that Python that was isolated to that virtual environment but I was uh, unable to find it previously. So if we take a look at a simple diagram this might make things easier to understand. Here you can see I have a parent folder that I keep all of my project code in, but also I need to contain a virtual environment within that folder. right? I keep my project code, say for example my Django project code, separate from the virtual environment. I don't add the project code into the virtual environment because I want to be able to destroy that virtual environment and recreate it whenever I want to without losing the project code. Right, but I want to keep all of my dependencies, of course, isolated to this virtual environment. So if you take a look at the documentation for creating the virtual environment using the venv command, and I will only be covering the ve venv command in this video, you can see that it says here, running the command creates a target directory, and it, it will create any parent directories that don't exist already, it says. And then it'll give you a pi venv config file and all this other good stuff, right? But we're going to go ahead and create a parent directory on our own. So let's go ahead and do that now and also add a virtual environment to it. All right, so we'll call our parent directory that contains our virtual environment and our project code my Python project. Okay, and then within this folder, we'll create a virtual environment. So, and we'll call that my project venv. This will make it easy to identify when we select our interpreter. Okay, and we see we have that project environment now created within our folder. All right, and it's already activated, and that's because I was testing this out earlier and I didn't deactivate it. So let's just do that now. All right, so if we want to activate that um, that virtual environment, all right, we can look in our virtual environments folder look in the bin folder in particular and we can see there's an activate script all right so we'll go ahead and run and remember I'm using Linux here so if you're using Windows or um, Mac OS you might have to do things slightly differently but I'm sure you can easily discover how to do that so we'll go ahead and activate the uh, virtual environment now Okay, and you can see that it's activated because that the name of the environment has appeared at the head of the prompt again. All right, and now say we want to install Django locally to that virtual environment, we can do that using pip install. Okay, and that's installing version 3.2.7. Right, and then we can start a project as well. So we can use Django admin to do that. using the start project command and we'll just call this my Django project. So we can see now that also our project code for my Django project is in our um, parent folder. So in using VS Code, you know, I often only really want to look at the project code because that's what I'm going to be editing. I don't really care about what's going on in the virtual environment. I can get information about that just by using some simple, um, you know, commands at the command line, like listing out folders and uh, listing out files. So for now, what I'll do is just because I want to keep things simplified or streamlined, I'll just go ahead and add in the project code, which will be contained in the My Django Project folder. All right, so I can add that folder. And 
And you can see I've got all of the um, prepackaged files that you get when you start a Django project. Right, but I don't have the appropriate interpreter here selected. I have the global version of Python that I have installed, but I don't have the interpreter that I want. And if I try to look for it, I can go into my Django project. Remember, we called the environment my project venv, but I don't have that environment here. It's not finding it. It's not finding the appropriate interpreter from that environment to use. All right, so that's a problem. So if we go ahead and take a look at, and let me just go ahead and select that. If we take a look at our um, documentation at VS Code, you can see that if you have the Python extension, and you should have it, and let me show you what that is if you don't have it. I'm expecting that you do have it though. But if you don't have it, or if you don't remember what extension I'm talking about, it's this Python here by Microsoft. All right, so make sure you have that in because that's going to look for uh, your virtual environments and find the appropriate interpreter for your project. All right, it says the extension will automatically look for interpreters in the following locations. And it gives you a lot of different options here, but we really want to focus on this one right here. It says it'll look for interpreters in virtual environments located directly under the workspace project folder. All right, but if you recall, our workspace project folder was the project code only, right? It didn't contain the virtual environment. So it's looking in here and it's not finding anything. All right, so what we need to do is not just add the project code. We need to add in the parent folder that contains not only the project code, but the virtual environment. That's the important part. All right, so what we can do is we can just go ahead and remove this and then add in that whole parent folder, right, which was my Python project. Remember, my Django project, which was our project code, which is our project code, and my project venv, which is our virtual environment, are contained directly under the my Python project folder. All right, so we want to add in that whole parent directory. So if we add that in, you can see now that our project uh, virtual environment has been selected as the correct interpreter, right? And if we go up and look for it, we can see it here, All right? So that's good. It automatically put it in there, so that's nice, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to select it from here. And even after you select it from here, sometimes it doesn't show that change or that selection. It's not reflected down here. So in order to solve that problem, what you can do is go into your virtual environment folder and open up your pyvenv.cfg file. And usually that will automatically make sure that the my project venv or the appropriate project virtual environment is um, being used or the Python version inside of that environment is being used as your interpreter. All right, so that's it. So if you've encountered this problem before and this helps you uh, solve it, then I, I'm, I'm happy for you. And uh, if not, maybe you've learned a little bit more about using Python virtual environments in VS Code than you did 10 minutes ago. Either way, thanks for joining me and I will see you in an upcoming video.